The title is no lie. This game does exist, and it is quite literally called Directly Drink Milk from Cow. It goes for this price in British. And to celebrate nearly getting to 100,000 subscribers, we'll also be looking at this game made by the same dev, which is just about as cursed. But right now, we've got some cows to milk, and already we're on our way to the farm. And look at that, we've got ourselves a cutscene. It's, uh, we're driving a car. Uh, I can't really do anything, can't look around, but I think we're going to, yeah, we're going towards the barn. You see the cows in the distance. So far, it, it seems all right. I, maybe I spoke a bit too soon there. I don't, yeah. Okay, so now we're at the farm. You can see me right there getting out of the car. And here I am. I'm a man in a on a farm and I can't move for some reason what I have no idea what whoa all right well my car just did a backflip that's brilliant oh uh, I'm getting uh getting attacked by some okay uh you what? Uh, you're welcome. This is my stock farm. Nice to meet you. Good to see you. Thanks to employ me. Is he that you said? Nice body. I'm a breeding farmer, Ito. Okay, I'll go. I'll come back when the season come. Okay, so that guy's already off in his, uh, in his little truck. I have a feeling that the pathing in this game for NPCs is not too great because this guy's just been walking on the spot nonstop. Oh, oh. Oh, okay, no. He did a little jump. Ah, there we go. He made it over the hill. And look at that. That's what the sun looks like. It's just a, it's just a yellow circle. You good? All right, he's, uh, he's already destroying my car. Let's get on with it. It's just morning now. Time to get into the barn tutorial. Brilliant. I think this is my boss. Let's just... This one? Which one? There's two. Hey! Oh! Right, cutscene, I can spin around. Brilliant. They <laughs> this lady don't look right. See how the cows are all lined up? When they're not moving, they're hungry. First, bring the dog from the kennel and push B or Q and bring it to the front of the cows. <laughs> He's just in space right now. She is... What's up with her hands, man? It's not right. <laughs> She's so broken. You know what? To my standards, this game isn't even cursed. No, it's it's basically haunted. I have no idea what she's on. No idea why my car did a backflip. And absolutely no idea what's going on with the text-to-speech. But hey, I do have to give some credit here because this is a tutorial and it's actually quite straightforward. We've got to summon this dog over here to slide over to the cows so we can herd them into the barn. For some reason, the cows will want to go into one barn so they kind of got stuck on the door. And this nurse was seemingly trying to abduct one of them. So I saved that cow, but she didn't seem to like that because uh, she whipped out a needle and I'm pretty sure she stuck me with it. It's going to happen again. It is, it's, oh my god, it's just like London. Now that the cows are in the barn, according to our boss, the next task is to feed them. And there is a bit of a process to this. We've got to grab a pitchfork, test it for sharpness, go back into the barn, climb this ladder, which works surprisingly well compared to the shit we've seen in other games, grab this block of hay, drop said block of hay, and stab the block of hay so that we can then finally feed the cows. But here's where the tutorial starts to break down a bit because after feeding only one cow, our boss assumes that we've fed all of them. And then he tells us to take the dog far away from the cows because the dog freaks the cows out. So I sort of ignored him. I fed all of the cows before taking the dog outside. And because there's no clear indication as to how far you need to take the dog, no matter where I placed the dog, the boss man refused to speak to me any further. So I thought, screw it. I saw some buckets earlier and surely there must be a way to milk these cows. I don't know, there's some other stuff out here. I saw some buckets. Maybe I need to use those for milking cows. And there's uh, these bags over here. We got booba, mixed foods, and some other stuff. I've got buckets, though. There we go. All right. Okay, I'm milking it. When they're done eating, you'll do the milking. Bring the... I bring bucket here. You have to put the bucket in from the left side of the cow. Once the bucket is put, approach it and start milking an acute... Whoa! And a QTE will appear. That caught me off guard. Right. It has to be on the left-hand side. So I did that on the wrong side. Left-hand side? No. Le left-hand side. Okay. All right. N. Backspace. Hey, look at that. Milk to cow. Brilliant. And then J. Oh. All right. Brilliant. It looks like there's actual physics to the liquid. And it's all kind of coming out. We're just... 
Well, I lost all the milk. When you get the milk, put it in the sink in the back of the barn so you don't spill it. If you use the keyboard, you can use control key to walk around. So if I press control, okay, now I'm walking. And it's just, uh, it's, you just have to press it. Leave the rest alone. They'll go back to the pasture sooner or later. This is the end of the tutorial. Okay, so, all right, so that's it. That's the game. That's the game in a nutshell. I think I, yeah, I, yeah, okay. Okay, that's how you uh, drink from a cow. You know what? This is a great depiction of my career on YouTube right now. Me, Steam. I, uh, I don't have any comments about this. I did it again. After milking the cows, they went out onto the field, and because the whole point of this game is to quite literally milk cows and collect said milk so that you can make money for the farm, I tried to give it another go with the cows that were on the field, and it's it's very difficult. The combination of the milk physics in this game and the janky controls makes bringing milk to the sink incredibly difficult. So I kind of gave up and uh, noticed some paranormal activity in the distance. But I also saw the nurse and wondered if I could actually talk to her. Well, it turns out you can, and somehow the text-to-speech for her is much worse. Nice to meet you. I'm Fuji. Okay, I couldn't... She's the veteran. Brilliant. Nice to meet you. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm going. I don't know where I'm going. I'll give them an injection and get blood after that. I'll call you to let you know, and then you can use the app on your phone to see how the cow's body's uh, conditions. It's amazing, the progress of science. Yes. Science. Try standing in front of a cow with a cow app on your phone and you'll see individual cow data. But how do I get my phone? That's that's the question. They didn't really give me any key binds. Hey, I can punch. Whoa. Why can I punch in this game? Am I supposed to kill people? Let's have a look. So setting. Oh, I've got uh, inventory. Money. I love it. Item name. Details. It's just nothing. Oh, oh, no. I just dropped all my money. Got baby bottles. Okay. Go. Whoa, 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 what? Dude, what the hell's going on? Go b I've just pressed go back and now I'm out of the map. Uh, well, there I am. The you, <laughs> you can see that guy's, that guy's truck in the distance just falling. Have I just reset all the NPCs? Yep, yeah, okay. Making out of bounds in most games is an achievement in my book. But this was by accident. And from this point onwards, I'm kind of on edge. And for good reason, because all that progress is gone. Pressing continue didn't do anything. So seeing as we're on the title screen, let me show you the settings. Because it's not the worst I've seen, but I've got no idea what the hell's going on here. We've got a looping video of somebody walking in the snow. Honestly, with how cursed this game already is, I thought this would be some kind of found footage. And then we've got these here, which appear to be news articles or updates but they're actually not what we'll see in this game is that there are quite a lot of misplaced components because you can see the date here you can also interact with the image but they are just tips with this one here telling you that you can only really save once per day in game now the actual settings are quite straightforward the gameplay tab has just english audio has nothing keybinds does have something in fact it has a whole list of all the things you can do apparently you can also drive in this game which is good to know and we'll do some of that later i mean look at that we can even use nitro but unfortunately even though the UI suggests it, we, we can't change the keybinds. But apparently on the graphics tab, we've been playing at ultra high settings, which explains why I was drenched in sweat after recording this game. Anyway, regardless of all of that, jumping back into the game, the car does backflip consistently. It's more of a feature at this point. This time I was pretty fast with the tutorial so I could milk more cows. But my God, man, I can't for the life of me keep this milk in the bucket. Like the milk physics in this game it, it is over the top. I've got milk going left, right and center. And with this many cows, I only managed to get three liters somehow by absolute luck <laughs> christ anyway we've got a uh, another feature to look at which is the phone i remember that the nurse mentioned something about it so i went to the settings to see what controls i need to actually bring out the phone turns out it's just tab and little did i know that there is actually a lot more to this phone than meets the eye yep it's just a big phone it, it's not UI, it, they just you just summon a giant phone that floats around you got a few things here though got settings ringtone settings all right that was the noise that we heard at the beginning i don't know what it is about this but it hits hard <laughs> you know i'm just gonna go for i'm just gonna go for this one 
So cow conditions, Ele cow 11. All right, so yeah, if you walk up to them, it shows you some um, stats. We've got health, hunger, heat, milk storage, dung amount, adrenocortical hormone, estrogen, bleeding resistance, a breeding season. What the f is going on in my brain? We've got milk. So apparently milk amount is three at the moment. So that's just three liters. Look at that. It's like one of those gimmick apps. It's, tw it's 2005 again. Well, this is interesting. We've got Conspiracy Guy and Red Dead Flyer. Oh, hello, my friend. You're just in time. I want to tell you something. You ever thought about the fact what you can eat porridge by spoon? But you cannot eat a spoon by porridge. This is insane, man. Oh, okay. Call you back later. What the f- Um, well, I'm hello. Sorry. How's your- I'm sorry, sorry. Sorry, friend. Uh, I can't talk now. <laughs> Voice acting in this, that, that's the first and I think only bit of voice acting in this game besides text-to-speech and uh, it sounds like my Discord mod. Subscriber is not available at this moment. Please try again later. Yeah, there we go. That's the phone. Brilliant. Although it's a rare occurrence in this series, having a phone in-game is pretty damn cool and so far, both experiences, including this one, have been quite positive. I mean, the last game we had that, we were being chased by some spider lady queen and uh, I was stuck in a cupboard watching TikTok. Anyway, now we're done with our chores, I think it's time to do a bit of exploring, which involves a lot of flawless driving. Right, I've just noticed something. You see that thing right there? See it move? See me move? Well, like, like it's, it's just some random white bowl that appears to be connected to my character. I don't know why it's here. But I want to... I'm, I'm going to go and try and find that guy he drove off earlier. I want to see if he's doing all right. That cow's having a one hell of a time. Okay, so it turns out in cars, you can do this. They have nitro, right? You just press C and you've got nitro. And uh, yeah, driving... I don't think driving is going to be easy in this game. Come on, man. I can't seem to actually get out of the car. I'm pressing E, but it's not working out. No, no buttons are working. Enter. You have to press enter to exit the car. I can't really get close to this guy for some reason. He's sort of stuck here. Oh, I'm on his head. Well, he's just floating away, but apparently I can talk to him. A successfully bred cow must give her car colostrum or colostrum for the first few days. Colostrum isn't allowed for humans to drink. Thank you very much, good sir. Thank you. But I want to know if I can drive his van, his truck. I, I think it's a truck, a lorry. I don't know, man. It's a very weird car model. It's, it's like it's quite basic. Can I drive? I can drive. Amazing. It has two doors. I'm going to explore this place a little bit because if there's this guy, if that guy's out there, surely there's going to be some more stuff. Like there's a little house down there. Well, I'm stuck. I kind of miss my... Do you know what, man? I'm going to get my other car. If I'm going to explore, it's not worth it in this thing. This, It gets stuck on everything. Oh, okay. I think there's a bit of a village situation going on down here. They're all the same house. Let's just see if I can get inside this. This is the same as the one at the barn. Can I go inside house? No. Is this the edge of the map? I think it might be. Yeah. Alright, my car's not really doing too good. It's one thing after another, isn't it? It's just one thing after another. Yeah, so far I wouldn't say this is the worst game on Steam. I mean, you can drive like this, it's perfect. Look at me go. Just flying around outside of my car. And now I'm in the floor. And go to the beach. Seems pretty cool. It's, it's very, very... Oh, there's a lot of glow from the sand. But it's it's nice. Yeah, I can go into the water. Brilliant. I mean, what else do you want me to say? It's just, this is it. As you can see, driving in this game is a bit of a challenge. But as I was exploring this wasteland, I stumbled across a strange fella who offers you the greatest reward in this entire game. My god, it's, um, it's Sheldon. Who? Oh, you're the guy who works on the farm. Yes, thank you. I heard that Japan is the second largest producer of milk for dairy cows after the United States. That's a big deal. If you could, I'd like to drink some of your... <laughs> 
some of your milk. <laughs> How do I give this guy milk? Do I have any? Now, there were... There is something in my inventory. Whoa! Oh, my boss is here. Ah, okay, I've got I've got this. I think this bottle may just do something. I don't know why I'm holding it like that. I'm actually getting bored with my job. What should I do? I'll tell you something good. Don't take a bucket to the cow and drink the cow's milk directly. It's it's thrilling. Well, he's over there now. Can I give you milk? Do you want the milk? I'm unemployed. If you're working part-time, you've got money. Share it with me. Here you are. Oh, look at that. He's just giving me some sausages. My guy just gave me sausage. Wait, if I keep giving this guy my... Uh, not my sausage, my money. Does he keep giving me sausage? Is that how it works in real life? Well, there we go. I, I don't really know what to do with sausage. Uh, it, I've got to stop saying that, but I, I really don't know what to do with it. I'm going to have to jump in with a spoiler here. There isn't really much you can do with the sausage. I mean, if you get 10 sausages, you get this achievement, which is pretty good. But to be honest, at this point, there really isn't much else to this game. The whole gameplay cycle is that you look after the cows, milk the cows, explore for a bit, wait till nighttime, which by the way, this is nighttime. The only thing that changes is the sky and then go to sleep. As quirky as this game is, it is trying to be a farm sim. And would I recommend it for the price? Not really, but would I recommend it for this achievement? Maybe. Smash like for drinking directly from cow. I will give some credit here, as broken as this game is, it's very clear that they did try to make something. And the little features, like with your phone, the weird little side quests, and the fact that there is some kind of complexity behind looking after the cows, does make me hopeful for the next game. At least that's what I thought. Because the next game genuinely gave me an out-of-body experience. And it's called Escape from Garbage House. This is my first impression. Right. I'm in an office. It's pretty cool. All right. Well, the NPCs haven't really improved in terms of uh, quality, but uh, in terms of funniness, they definitely have. Oh, I'm Taki, a cleaning company janitor. Well, a, cl a cleaning company janitor, but just a handyman. Please remember me. I like the fact that this guy is just kind of, uh, well, I mean, you can see what's going on here, can't you? Are you Mr. Waysioka? Yes, yes, thank you very much. My name is Jimoto. I am in charge of this area. Thank you for your cooperation. You work for Mr. Taki's company, and the rest of the text is gone. I don't think I'm going to be able to read most of what's going on here, so uh, bear with me, guys. That's amazing. That's the most corporate thing I've ever seen. Thinking room. And then you've got this right here. Wow, the globe and this beautiful wasteland in the middle. I have to say, in terms of corporatism, uh, this is this is perfect. Idea loading. Co space co-working. Yes. Well, somebody's... Can I get through a door? Somebody's logged in. Can I go through this? This is the exit, so... Okay, yeah. Do you want to go back into town? I will go for the first time into town. Apparently, we're loading scene five. And now I'm, I'm on the street. And there is a pig. Bins. Oh! The doors are a bit janky, but, um... Oh my god! <laughs> Look, it's, it, it, it's the last game we played. I think it's Frozen. Oh. My god, man, this is demonic. There is lasagna, though. It's so f loud! I'm not even kidding, it is so loud. She's, uh, her eyes are kind of popping out the skull there. And she's, uh, I think she's talking to herself. Can I just watch TV for a minute? Okay, I can give you five minutes. Is it me or did I hear? I swear to God, I heard police. Don't you worry, we will see a lot of police later. Now, this game obviously is of a similar quality to the last, but if the last game was haunted, this one is demonic. I have to throw my hands up a little bit here, though, because in the beginning, there was a lot more text than you just saw. These two guys essentially act as a tutorial. I was basically told how to organize trash in the different bins, told that I can consume rubbish, and also sell the clients valuable items. But anyway, now it's time for us to meet our first client, who probably has the most disturbing voice in both games. All right, sportsman is uh, an interesting fella. Very tall. I'm Hijoika from Cleaning Crystal. I'm lying. Like that's not my name, by the way. Wrong. I'm Wose. What? 
<laughs> okay, this is this is the weirdest interaction. Oh God, I've been we've been expecting you. My husband's room is in trouble. That is a demonic sounding voice. I don't even think this is Texas speech, by the way. I think they've just recorded in a basement. What's the trouble? What's the problem? You're a cleaner, right? The garbage, of course. Okay, I'm getting some sass here. The cost is about 50,000 yen per room. Resident cleaning contract. Because the resident is a waste and unable to live a normal life, a company. Never mind, I didn't even get a chance to reject or accept. So I guess um, things kind of appear and then disappear quite quickly. So there's going to be a lot of missed opportunities. Oh, okay. By the way, I, I, I can also hear somebody speaking in the background and I have a feeling it's the TV. It's extremely loud. It's like they've just taken the volume and put it all the way up. I've had to put the volume down to nearly three bars on my mixer. I'm holding toilet paper, which by the way is very good toilet paper. You, do, you don't need to get rid of this and a chair and I need to take this away I think so do I just throw it outside Z and then F there we go guess that's uh good enough I have a feeling this may just be the game this may just be all the game is about I'm gonna clear all this stuff up and then I'll get back to you guys later hold on a second I just noticed something I can put this in I can put can 36 into my inventory Hey, look at that. Well, we actually have uh, we actually have quite a lot going on. So the reason why I jumped into the game and didn't really show the title screen is because there wasn't really anything else to show besides this. And uh, there weren't any settings. But when you go into the game, there are settings. And apparently we're playing on Fantastic, which is cool. Items. So I've got can. I love it. Again, item description here. They've not even bothered. Hey, I can consume it. I've just drunk the can and it's gone. So I think I could put stuff in. No. Oh, okay, right, cool. Uh, uh yeah, all right. I could see how this game is gonna go. This is one of those, um, the gameplay in this game is chore, basically. Go check out the rooms. So this is the toilet. My God, the TV's so loud. I, I've got to turn this off. How do I turn this off? It's just somebody I don't even know what's going on there. Oh, TV volume. Perfect. It's gone. Oh my god. What what is going on? Okay, I have no idea what this guy's doing. He's just doing a little dance. He's uh walking backwards. <laughs> it's, it's now he's crawling, now he's he's skipping. Running, sprinting, going backwards again, going forwards again. Now he's sad. I think this guy's gone nuts. I think this is the guy who is, uh, yeah, this is the husband that's gone absolutely mad. Can I interact with the guy? Carl LODs. That's what the name of the, uh, the asset is, if you're interested. And this is a lot of stuff, man. I'm not even kidding. Is this really what the game is going to be? Yeah. Yeah, this is basically it. I've got to take every single item from this room and find the right bin for it. Now, thankfully, there is a little bit of a strat here. As we saw earlier, there are some items that you can put into your own inventory. And to do so, you just got to look around, spam R, and there you go. You've cleared out a good portion of the room. Now, when I was clearing out this room, there was this rain pipe that I took outside and threw on top of the rest of the unsorted trash because my flawless strat was was to throw everything outside first and then take it to the bins. But at some point, this rain pipe just disappeared. I'm bringing this up now because it's soon going to be very relevant. As at this point, I decided to consume all the items that were in my inventory, which turned out to be a massive mistake. Oh Christ, okay. I, I kind of forgot that when you eat things, uh, you drop the empties, okay? So, uh... Wow. Well, some of it went into the- Alright. Uh. Whoa! Okay. Uh. Man, I have no idea what's going on. But this is- This is- This is what I mean when a game is so cursed, it's- It's basically haunted, okay? This is a haunted game. It's not cursed, it's haunted. Look at it! Look at the policeman- Now he's got shades on, now he disappears. 
The police in this game may just be the most broken police I've seen so far. At least the police in MA3, at least they actually did something, besides phasing in and out of reality. Now the police don't really have too much to say, they just kind of quote all of these different articles about uh, dumping waste outside, and that's the reason why this guy appeared by the way, is because there is a lot of waste on the road. And it became very clear to me that I had to pick up every single item that I just dropped, including that pile I was making earlier, which not only just took a lot of time, but this guy was relentless. I think I saw the same dialogue about 50 times. But as I cleared up more of the rubbish, uh, the dialogue changed. Now it was less severe and I could blame it on the neighbours. But then of course the policeman asked me what my profession was and the only option was to say that... <laughs> I'm a garbage man, which of course made me look like an absolute idiot, but thankfully he doesn't take us to jail. No, because apparently in this game, it's your choice whether or not you want to go to jail. Okay, there's a lot of lag and I can hear a lot of uh, objects. Oh, would you look at that, eh? There's a baseball bat. I can just... Surely I could just pick this up and uh, whack whoever's going to get close. Right, okay. Teleporting policeman again. Can I speak to this person? Alright. I love how this is just painted on. <laughs> it's, it's so bad. It's like, it's a full on just, it's just an image. It's just a print. They don't actually, this, they're the low budget cops. Right. That explains the lag. Pick up things. Is this meant to be like my kind of hell? Like, I'm just stuck here. Oh, what the? So, I am actually in, uh... They've actually thrown me in jail. There's just some guy shouting. Can I get out? I've got to give him some credit. This is absolute hell. You've got the repetitive physics noise, someone shouting every now and then, and absolutely no end in sight. Yeah, unlike Oblivion, you don't start some amazing quest line. Nah, you're just stuck here for eternity. But you see, I wanted to restart the game anyway. Because remember that rain pipe? Well, because that was missing, the policeman never went away. Which also meant, just knowing how these games work, that I would always be missing one piece of garbage. And I didn't want to risk getting stuck in this level just because of that. So I restarted the game, Got back to where we were, threw out the garbage properly, which still took a very long time. But also, I finally found something to sell at the store. And because I'm basically reviewing this game, I can't really turn off the audio, just in case I hear something that I need to explore. But this, this is the average shop experience. I have a feeling I can... Can I use store? Well, yep. Yeah. It's a very... Everything in this game is... Cursed man, I swear to god. Even like the, the shop clerk, I, I don't like him. I've only got one plate, but I'm seeing multiple prices. So do I just pick the highest one? Is that the highest one? No, I think that's the highest one. No, that's the highest one. Can't afford that. Alright. What? Okay, I guess I'm back. Oh god, this is gonna be this is gonna be so annoying. As if this game wasn't already painful enough. I had to go through this an ungodly amount of times. Anyway, once I finally cleared this guy's room, he calmed down, and all he had to say was that it was fun messing around in the garbage. And thankfully, I did manage to complete the level, and I did get paid. So when I went back to the office via this glitched out blue car, I was given my next task, which was actually to go back to the first house I explored. And uh, to start off with, it wasn't too bad. I'd like to ask you, first of all, about your garbage separation. Are you able to separate your own garbage? I'm not getting any response from this person. I have not yet learned how to sort it. It would be helpful if you could help me. What the hell's going on with the dialogue? I hope to be able to dance in the garbage. What? Yeah, sure. You can clean up the large room to practice your dancing. Okay, I'll give you permission to enter the house. So please just clean the garage. I got permission to clean the garage. Holy Christ. Okay. Is that the dev? Not too sure if it is. But uh, I like your hair, dude. I like your hair a lot. There we go. Okay, now I can... Can I open this up? Please tell me I can open this up. Come on now. Oh, God. Look at the size of this trash bag. I, I don't even know. Like, is there an end goal to this game? Like, am I supposed to have a set amount of money to buy my soul back? I don't know, man. Right, have I done this? I've done this room. She's right here. I've finished cleaning the garage. If you don't mind, I'd like to clean another room as well. I think it would be healthier for you. For Christ's sake. 
We've got to do it. We've got to do... We've done that. She can stay in there now. I've got to do all of this as well. See, I, I didn't do this room because, you know, I'm, I'm a good guy. I, I don't want to... I don't want to mess things up. And I have a feeling this is one of those games, if you don't comply with it, it will ruin you. It will just uh, take away whatever you've got. I've noticed something, by the way. Okay? I've noticed something. And I've been doing this for, again, another 20 minutes. It takes a long time. This game is boring as hell. Her bedroom. This is the game. This is the gameplay. I've been silent for so long, and I'll tell you why. Um, this game has... It, this game is so repetitive that I've gone into third person. That's how repetitive this game is. That is what it's doing to my brain, and I don't think I could play any more of this if this is all this is going to be. Bro? I am freaking out right now. Look. I've got this. All of this to do. It was at this point where I was genuinely fed up with the game. So you know what? I took a break and explored the rest of town. You know what, man? I'm kind of done with it. I'm just going to explore. I I'm going to see if I can get out of bounds because that's something I seem to do in every single game. Hey. Am I out of bounds? Did I make it out? I think so. Oh, yeah, I did. There we go. We're out of bounds. Brilliant. Congratulations. Both games, we made it out of bounds. First time was an accident. This time was on purpose because I'd rather do this than whatever the hell I had to do there. And by the way, nice skybox. We are we're quite literally in the field. Oh, okay. That's weird. You can hear that, right? This house has some... Whoa! Babu, babu. Duh. Oh, God. Okay. So I can hear somebody over here, but I've got no flashlight, so there's no idea. How do you do? Do you live alone in such a big house? Yes, I work in IT by profession. But I can hear somebody, dude. You've got a baby or something upstairs. Let's see if we can find this. Bro, that is, that's actually messed up. There's a crib, right? And just blood inside it. I can hear him from here. I can hear him over here. Oh, okay. There's got to be like some secret way to get in. Is this where the game open opens up? Is this is there an attic or some sort? Can I see? Oh, oh, he's right there. Okay, we have to freeze frame this. It's the same. It's the guy who gave us sausage. He's just chilling out in the roof. Oh, what a weird bedroom to live in. Just got double bed and single bed. Oh. Okay. Street underscore man. It's like, you did. This house is buggy, so I can't use it as a stage for trash cleanup. You'll know when you walk into the little room. He said, you'll know when you walk into the little room. Is this the little room? I think so far, the only bug is this guy not being able to actually change direction. I'm playing scratch cards instead. Would you like to try scratch cards too? There's a scratch card in the kitchen. All right, cool. I guess we've got something else to do in this game besides moving trash. Oh, okay. Want to start playing scratch cards? Yes. So, please scratch above 80%. I've done it. What did I win? Do I press enter or something? Do I press uh, exit? Do I press E? Do I press Q? Do I press other buttons? What, what do I have to do? Do I have to get rid of 100%? Is there anything for me to click, or... I don't really know what, what to do here. What, what the keybinds are. Exit. After all of that progress, all of that time cleaning, all it took was for a simple scratch card to crash my game. I never got out of this loading screen, and I also forgot to save. So I guess it's GG's, because I, I honestly don't have what it takes to go any further. I think it's fair to say that this game really isn't worth the price either. I mean, yeah, you've got the quirky, funny stuff that's probably fun to watch in a video, but when you're actually playing it, 
All it is, is just this. You pick up items, you take them to the trash, or even worse, you have to sell them, and it takes up so much of your time doing the same thing over and over again that you begin to phase out of reality. Unironically, the coolest part about this game was this NPC. He actually shares information about the recycling process in Japan, and if you know anything about Japan, they do things right, and they like to stay very clean. But yeah, man, I'm done with this. Thank you so much for watching, and I'd also like to say thanks to all of you who have helped contribute to this number. We're nearly at 100k, and and I honestly didn't think we could ever revive this channel, but here we are. Of course, a massive thanks to all of my supporters. You guys are pretty damn awesome. Not just those on Patreon, but also the channel members too. But of course, finally, a massive shout out to all of my wicked slayers and cyber wizards. Gibbles by the dozen, time wiz. Hello, my name is Nick Waller. I can help you if you help me. Grab some mushrooms. The cuddly bot, Camille B, Negadan, the one with severed toes. Rare Alex, Basto, Finra, Alex Capral, Lin Kerr, Mr. Pine, Spooky, Rosal Bugatti, King Swing, Distant Reality, Legea Yana, Draga Funyan, Alex Nibs, Arcadius, Dr. Damo, Adam, Borky, Times Twice, Chris Blaga, Scotch Eggs, Big Ram, and Grimba. And I'll see you in the next one where I play another game and add commentary every now and then into the video.